Today we have a story on Mr. Blackman's retirement. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Ms. Martin. And more information on the Sharp Fun Day. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Cameron. And I'm Jordan. You're watching SVTV. You may have heard that Mr. Blackman is retiring. Let's learn more. One of SHS's math teachers, Mr. Blackman, will be retiring after this year. SVTV caught up with him to learn more about his past and what he will be doing after he retires. Um, my first teaching job was in Hayes, Kansas at Hayes High School, and I started at Seaman in the 97-98 school year. Well, after retirement, I I'm, I'm need to continue working. Um, I'd like to get a job where my nights and weekends are my own. No papers to grade, no lessons to plan. I'll miss the just the school in general. Um, I mean, the community at Seaman. You know, we have the Seaman Strong saying. Well, I mean, it is a strong community. You have you have very good support from the community. Um, the the kids are good kids. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss working with a team. Um, the math department here, uh, we work very closely together and, uh, you know, just miss the, the school in general and the, and the climate and, and the East workroom. Many students appreciated Mr. Blackman and his ways of teaching math. He's a really cool guy. I understand his jokes, even though no one else does probably. Um, I don't know, he's just fun to be around in that class. My sister had him for her whole high school career and she absolutely adored him. As of now, I'm definitely along the same boat, so it's pretty disheartening to hear that Mr. Blackman's not going to be here anymore. He's a pretty fun teacher, and he definitely does math in a way that I enjoy. Good luck, Mr. Blackman, and we will miss you next year. Seniors, you must complete the survey from the counseling department. If you did not hit the complete button during your senior talk with the counselors, please do it as soon as possible. Senior Writing Center consultants are eligible to receive a $500 scholarship provided by the Viking. Those that are interested should fill out the Google form on the Writing Center Schoology page. Deadline is April 30th. Auxiliary tryouts are April 27th from 9 to noon. Tryout packets can be picked up in the office or W-12. Completed trial applications should be dropped off in W-12. Any questions or concerns, email Ms. Hurt. The Spring Break Europe trip for 2021 will be to Rome, Florence, and Assisi. There will be an informational sign-up meeting for those interested April 30th in Rome E14 from 6.30 to 7.30. If you plan on attending the Sharp Fun Day, here's some more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Ms. Martinez to talk about Sharp Fun Day. So what is it? Okay, so Fun Day is our spring reward event that we do for Sharp. Um, three and four star students are invited. Um, they all should have gotten one of these. Um, the RSVPs are due today. Uh, for RSVP, you need to have paid the bank and kept your yellow receipt, um, parent signature, fifth and seventh hour teacher signatures. Um, also, we have a Google form so you can pick which place you want to go to or if you're just going to stay for lunch. Um, and if you're going to Sky Zone, you have to fill out the waiver. That's super important. Um, that's it. They're due today. Make sure and turn those in. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to turn in your money and form today. Show choir auditions will be Thursday, May 2nd. Clinics start at 3.30 and will last about two hours. The last day for driver's education enrollment is May 7th. Contact Mr. Tinsley with questions. The Interact Car Show will be held in the South Parking lot of the Seaman High School April 27th from 1 to 3. Please see Mr. Collins and Mrs. Miller for a registration form. Family Servants and Guidance Center is offering a safe smartphone app and website called Seven Cups to students in Shawnee County. Seven Cups provides one-on-one -on -one messaging with a live person available at all time. It offers li a listening ear and strategies to help teens address issues including anxiety, depression, and dealing with stress. Now let's go see what Cameron has for us in sports after the quick break. Hey you. Yes you. Do you like cars? Whoa, watch out there old sport. Well, we have a surprise for you. The Interact Club is hosting a car show Saturday, April 27th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. It's $15 for an early registration or $20 at the door. Admission is free to the general public. See Mr. Collins for a registration form, 
we'll be waiting for you there. Girls Track had a successful night last night. Great job, bikes. Seaman Relays is tomorrow, and there will be 25 teams participating from across the state. School will be out at 2, and only for the high school. In the event that the meet is canceled due to weather, school will be dismissed at regular time. Boys soccer will have a meeting tomorrow right after school in room W15. Anyone interested in playing soccer next year is welcome. That's all we have for sports. Now Joshua Lees and Fern Duncan will have some updates on how the weekend is going to be. Thursday to you today. Highs will top out in the lower 70s, but it's going to be a little bit sooner than we, when we usually hit our peak temperature because a cold front is coming through and that's going to increase the cloud coverage for just a few hours by around the time school gets out. Can't completely rule out an isolated sprinkle, but we're not expecting much. And then it does turn sunny again later this evening as temperatures drop down into the 60s. Now, Tomorrow for the relays, we should be dry, but late tomorrow night, this is Saturday at 4 a.m., there could be a few scattered showers in the area. Nothing heavy, but just don't be surprised if there's a little rain late Friday night. Then more rain is on the way, a couple rounds of it. The first one late Sunday through early Monday morning, and then another round late Monday night, all the way through Tuesday. Tuesday is looking like a pretty wet day at this point, and then continuing into Tuesday night. So wrapping this up in a forecast for you, let's take it through this day by day. Windy today, nice tomorrow for the semen relays. The wind picks back up on Saturday with sunshine after those morning showers. And then Sunday, storms late, cooler as well with 61 degrees. There comes the active pattern for the first couple days of next week. We'll keep you updated here with SVTV Weather. Cameron and Jordan, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we have information on Seaman Young Life and the World War I Museum.